Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, and today we're going to be talking about the new release creation kit and mods, and also the console mods as well. So let's get right into the PC stuff first, get that out of the way. Right now, last night, the creation kit was released to uh, open beta. No, it was just released to everyone on PC, and mods have been flowing through it now. I was actually watching a live stream till 3 a.m. about mods, and um, it looks really basic and easy to do. So you just go into your main menu, select the mod, it should download instantaneously into there, and if you need to do some work outside of it on the PC, then you do, the usual thing, you know. But anyway, mods are are actually becoming something of, uh, like mods were always dreamt about by us when we were on our last gen consoles, when we were playing Fallout, it's like, I wish I could have mods in Fallout 3, and you know, like have the real-time settler mod, or this AK-47 mod, or any other mods that included new armor and clothing. Like, now we'll be at, we'll having access to that, like some of the pictures flowing by now, the Nuka Cola power armor or the dual wielding miniguns and the new Pip Boy games actually as well. So it also brings up to an interesting fact that a lot of stuff we'll have access to, like a lot of funny stuff, but some really like serious stuff that would be lore fr friendly, which would be absolutely brilliant. Like. Yeah, sure, we have the uh, Pip-Boy games and the armor, but I saw something in the trailer that really got my hopes up, which was a kind of a bipedal uh, four-legged walking vehicle, which looks amazing. And then, you know, like, this is this is what we've been waiting for, like, access to a whole new world, basically. Like, we, we've never had this choice on console to play mods now. Now, Bethesda have uh, made it you know, possible for us to be like, it doesn't matter if you're on PC now, we may get certain amount of mods because our, well, we can't really destroy our uh, PlayStations or Xbox Ones with new programming and software. They're built not to do that, but I say to a certain extent that we'd be allowed to have a lot of the mods. I say so with the uh, capacity with our uh, consoles. It just... Yeah, I, 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 well, I don't know what to say. I'm just speechless that it's actually coming out in the next two months instead of, like, next year or something like that. And, you know, it just... It's amazing that we will have mods soon. I want a bunch of weapons and armor mods and some settlement mods so I can build some interesting stuff for you guys. And uh, I want that walking tank thing. I'm really pushing for that. Like, I want that. That is the that's the way to travel in style in the Commonwealth. Or even like, it's possible. Uh, I which I will come up with, you know, stuff that makes sense. Like in Fallout One and Two, you got the Highwayman car, which lets you fast travel across the wasteland. Why can't we have a Highwayman car in Fallout Four? Like, uh, one of the Chryslers just rebuilt up or something like that. Or, like, crap. Like the amount of army APCs that I see around the wasteland. I would love to fix one of them up and make a little, you know, carpool depot somewhere in the wasteland so I know where they are and take one out and never have the fast travel again. I would love to actually do that. Have the truck go where I wanted to go, park it up somewhere, have designated spots in each settlement or, you know, if I see something up ahead, I'll park it down the way and then start scouting with a sniper rifle, you know, that would be amazing. I know I wasn't a big fan of the idea of having vehicles, but now with mods, if it could be done correctly, I think I can overlook that. Something lore-friendly and merchant-wise that would make sense. Like, most of the US Army vehicles run off petrol or gas for you guys, uh, biodiesel or fusion. So, it wouldn't be impossible. Really? No, it wouldn't be impossible at all to get one of them set up. But mainly, I like apart from what I want, like everyone wants a certain thing. Everyone wants, you know, anything. You know, I I really would like to. Oh, sorry, apologies. I just woke up this morning. I would really like to be able to add in new factions. Uh, you know, it's just like, it's crazy how close we are for them. Like PS4 has to wait till June. Xbox One gets them next month, and then we also get the Far Harbor DLC and the 1.5 update. So PS4 fans won't be uh, left, you know, alone. <laughs> Basically, we'll be able to uh, play Far Harbor as we wait. 
literally, I can imagine people are going to scavenge that place clean till the uh, June uh, update for mods. Uh, some of you may be wondering why we had a, uh, what was it, why we um, got a, uh, a later release date. It, it basically, uh, the Bethesda, Bethesda has said, um, like, they worked with Microsoft first because they had a, they they know how to use computers and stuff like that, so they're not, you know, that, that, that's a terrible way to put it. They make game consoles and they they're used for people. They're they're used to people modding their computer systems. So it was the best. Uh, it was the best choice really, to uh, work alongside Microsoft first to make the uh, whole process go smoother. Like they they are literally a computer company and they would be perfect for helping you design a system that will work on your console that will allow mods to take place or an update that will do it and hopefully they've worked with Sony at the side as well to make it work as well just like you know like a whole one legged t uh, one way thing because a lot of fans will be upset if the mods didn't work on the PS4 but they worked fine on the Xbox One and of course it would be you know the same if it was the opposite it would be very you know stressful for everyone and I just hope everyone like really gets a chance to go with these mods like they're great they look amazing. The stream was pretty cool. Some guy was using the settlement build stuff, and you're showing how um, how to use the whole what's the word modding? Uh, not the modding. How to use the mod menu? How quick and easy it is? It's like if anything's wrong, and he's also stating that like people need to make a giant overhaul mod, like a uh, mod. So if you have a bunch of mods in one place, like just something to help patch in mods together instead of just having one mod at a time, like. He said, like, uh, you'll have a whole bunch of certain aspects of this, and you download it last, and then everything should run well at once, which would be great. So, hopefully with console mods, we'll be able to have a bunch of, like, mix-and-match mods that we like, and they'll be put into the game, like, we want, like, the RNA one or an AK-47, but we can't have them both at the same time right now, but later on, someone does a mod where they have both of them in the same mod pack, which would be fantastic. And... I just that's really it ladies and gentlemen i i am just super super excited about this uh you're gonna see a lot of mods on the channel when it comes out in june uh, a lot of building aspects to do with those mods as well by the way and um a lot of other things as well i will do possibly do reviews on the mods but anyway if you've gotten this far into the video i just want to say one more thing before i go uh, i will not be rec i won't be putting up any videos till friday i am actually going out for two days uh the girlfriend misses me <laughs> but um yeah guys so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you next